Hi and welcome to this week's web design video blog. Uh, this is James and I'm just uh, on my own this week to give you an introduction to WordPress custom menus. Uh, custom menus are a little known feature recently released in WordPress. They give you as the WordPress developer the ability to change and adjust and build your own custom menus via the uh, sort of WordPress backend system. You'll probably be familiar with most themes and the way that they bring out each of the pages that you build into your website's navigation bar. Now to try and put this into a little bit of context and to show you how useful WordPress custom menus can be, we'll use perhaps uh, a live example. So here's a design that I've uh, recently completed that's going to be converted into a WordPress theme. And you can see going across the top of the page, we have uh, a menu that goes from home all the way to contact. And most importantly, we have a second menu system in the footer that includes some of our tertiary links like the privacy and cookies page and the sitemaps. So as you'll probably know, once you add your pages into your WordPress uh, installation via the CMS, they simply all come out um, in sort of no really particular order onto your live navigation bar. Now, unless you get in there and sort of um, hack it to bits or create your own uh, manual menu, you're going to lose the CMS uh, features that are available but to yourself and to the customer. So we're going to use uh, WordPress custom menus to decide what pages and um, what labels they're going to be in our navigation bar. And secondly, we're going to create a second menu system dynamically that we're going to bring out in the footer to represent the links that we're going to have in our footer. So we're not going to be hard coding in any navigations, we're going to be simply using the built-in feature in WordPress to bring our pages out in the exact order and labeling that we'd like to see them. So to do this, you simply head over to the back end, and if you check out appearance, you just head over to the menus part. It's pretty plain and blank when you first come in here. There's only really one thing that you can do to get started, and that's create your first menu. So up until we start to create menus in the backend system, WordPress will automatically just bring through all CMS pages like you're probably familiar with in their dynamic navigation. Now we're just simply using the WordPress 2011 built-in theme for this example. Uh, but later on obviously we'll be using the uh, theme to skin our design to create our own theme. So we can bring our custom menus in at this very early on stage. So whether you've already got your own exi existing theme or you're going to be reskinning and basing your theme on somebody else's. As long as you've still got the uh, dynamic navigation system coming out in the code, you can take advantage of WordPress custom menus. So we're going to create two menus and we'll just start with our first one, so the top menu. And we'll push create. So this first menu that we're going to make, it's going to overwrite our navigation bar just here. And it gives us the ability, now that we've created a menu, to drag items in that make up our new menu bar. So first of all, I'm just going to head over to the little pages tab and I'm going to select the pages that I'd like to add to my navigation bar. Actually, let's just head over to the view all. Okay, so let's go for about, contact, home, news and articles. Ooh, we don't want the privacy policy. That's not going to be in our top navigation. That's going to go in the bottom. We obviously want all of the services to go in their drop down menu and we're going to leave the terms and conditions. That's also a footer link. What we then do is add those to the menu. And these will appear just over here in one moment. You can also add custom links to the menu. So if you actually wanted to code in external links, you know, perhaps to uh, other websites or parts of your website that aren't uh, dynamically available here, you can add those in manually yourself. If you've got a custom post type, I've got one set up for case studies. You could also add uh, posts into the navigation bar, as long as, as long, uh, sorry, as well as categories from your posts. So you see now that under our top menu that we've uh, created, we've got a list of pages that we've added in to the navigation. We can now proceed to sort of uh, use the drag and drop feature in WordPress to put these into an order. So we're going to put uh, try and follow the same order that we have in the design. So. Uh, home, about, services, news, and contact. And what you can also do is indent your uh, your pages so that become uh, sort of child uh, pages of the parent. That means that they'll go into a little drop-down menu. 
There you go, just simply drag and drop these into place. Like so. So there's our first menu. So we're just going to hit save. And like I said, this is going to essentially, once we've got this all saved, it's going to replace our main navigation bar that goes across the top. And we'll then make a second one in a moment that we're going to bring out in our uh, web designs footer. So now that that uh, menu has saved, the next thing that we need to do is to select our menu to come out within our theme. Uh, most themes like the WordPress 2011 theme that we're using just has one menu built into it that you can send. we can send our top menu to. You'll find that some themes already have other menus built in, but we're going to show you in a moment how to make uh, additional menus by registering them in your functions file. So all we need to do in order for our menu system to be overwritten is to select top menu from the available items and push save. Now if we refresh our live WordPress page, you can see that our navigation bar has changed, we've got the order of pages that we've created, our sub-pages are all working nicely, and we've taken out some of the pages that we didn't want in the navigation. Now there are some plugins that exist for WordPress that actually allow you to exclude pages from the navigation bar, but I find building uh, your navigation bars in the built-in uh, custom menu system is by far the best way to do it. Another good example is you can rename your pages. So without actually having to rename the name of your page, you can just change the label in the menu system just here. So let's just say we want to just call that services. We can push save and you'll also notice we can also adjust the title attribute of the page. And again, if we head back over to our page, I'll just wait for this to save. Got a pretty poor internet connection for some reason today. Push refresh, you'll see that restoration services has changed to just simply services. So that's our first menu. Now let's look at creating our second menu that we want to have coming out in the footer. Now, even from here in the back end without doing any coding, we can actually begin to create our second menu uh, just over here ready to use. So let's create the second one and we'll call this uh, bottom menu. And we'll push create menu. This will create our second menu system. And you notice that now also we have the ability to change our top navigation bar to either top or bottom menu as well. Let's find the pages then we want to have in our footer. So we'll have the home page again, privacy uh, terms, and probably have the contact details again as well. And we'll add those to our menu. If you're using a plugin like the uh, Google XML sitemap generator, that's not going to automatically come out and become available in the backend system just here. Like we mentioned a moment ago, just use the custom links to actually code in your sitemap URL, so forward slash sitemap.xml. We can put XML sitemap in just like so and add that to our footer menu to ensure that the uh, search engines are going to be able to crawl that file. So we'll push save menu. What we need to do next uh, is register in the back end a second menu system and then pull that out in our footer. We essentially want uh, another one of these so that we can actually choose our bottom menu to come out. So to do this you just need a little bit of code and you want to add it to your functions file and it simply looks like this. So we're going to register a new menu and you'll see that I've called mine footer menu and I've just changed the uh, element there to footer hyphen menu. If you wanted to add additional menus, all you simply have to do is copy this, separate with a comma, and you can add multiple menus in. If we save and upload this, this code uh, will be available to copy and paste off our supported blog post, and you can also easily find it on the WordPress uh, Extend Codex as well. So all theme uh, folders have a functions file. You'll see that I'm in uh, my own custom theme called Sandafloor that I've based on uh, the WordPress 2011 theme and just simply make your way down to the functions file like I have. If we now refresh the back end now that I've uh, uploaded our uh, new functions page. 
you'll see that we have a new footer menu available to us. I can now select bottom menu, hit save, and that's paired that bottom menu with our footer menu just there. Now that we've added our second menu system, we just need to bring that out into our design. And obviously I want mine to come out into my footer file, so you'll see that I've just simply selected the footer file in my theme. And again, I've already got the code ready to go. I'm just going to uncomment it. And this is essentially fetching our custom uh, menu, which we've called footer menu, or whatever we called it a moment ago. So I'm going to save and upload our new footer. I go back to the design and refresh. Head down to the bottom, you'll see that our uh, new secondary navigation is being brought out in the footer, ready for styling to match our design. So hopefully um, I've given a bit of insight into the potential of WordPress custom menus. Like I said, the great things are that you can maintain the uh, CMS menu structure of WordPress can build your own custom menus and decide exactly which pages from the CMS that you'd like to have in the, in the navigation bar. Without changing your page names, you can change the labels like we did changing restoration services to just services. And you can obviously build as many menus as you like to bring out across all parts of your design, whether it's just two menus like I've created or whether you need three or four for your layout. All the code uh, and a sort of write-ups available on our, on our supporting blog post. If you have any questions, uh, comments or contributions, please leave them on the comments below.